This is Michelle Sullivan reporting for the Global Medical News Network. Today I'm in Bangkok at the 19th World Congress of Neurology. My guest is Asaf Akiran, a fifth year medical student at Tel Aviv University in Israel. Mr. Akiran and his mentor have been using a new image processing software called FreeSurfer to calculate gray matter volume changes in patients with multiple sclerosis. The project is part of the university program that pairs students and physicians on specific research projects. Uh, as you will know, physicians don't, don't have a lot of time to research. So students can help them uh, in fields they are interested in, and uh, by that student can earn uh, a way of researching tools and the way how you prepare the papers and the way you study the fields. Mm -hmm. uh, multiple sclerosis is regarded as a white matter disease. But in the previous year, there has been abundance of data regarding gray matter environment as well. By using free software, uh, one is able to detect total gray matter uh, volume changes and in addition, specific uh, structure uh, changes during time. This study included 38 patients with multiple sclerosis with relaps relapsing remitting type. Uh, the study included 24 females and 14 males. A patient was subdivided to two groups. One group included patients with short disease duration uh, up to five years, and the second group of patients with long disease duration, patients with more than five years. Patients were evaluated by cognitive performance tests and by uh, MRI volume measurements. We have found that with disease progress, there is an association in the one hand with decrease in the volume of the cerebral cortices and the hippocampi, and in the other hand with a decrease, decrease of uh, the global cognitive score, and specifically in the visual spatial domain and the executive function domain. A patient with short disease duration had better performance in these domains. How can neurologists use the free surfer data um, in their clinical practice? Is it possible at this point? Well, uh, I don't know, but I think that in the future, a physician uh, will be able maybe to use vol uh, volumetric measurements and to follow up uh, their patient during uh, the years. They can maybe can see uh, uh, atrophy in the, in the total brain, or they can uh, maybe they can see changes in specific uh, brain structure. Uh, currently, this, this field is uh, under research, but it's for me, it's very exciting, uh, and I, I wait for the future. This is Michelle Sullivan reporting for the Global Medical News Network.